Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about is Rainbow Six Siege a casual game? Now, for those of you that own Rainbow Six Siege, you know that there is a casual and ranked mode. So we're going to be talking about the casual mode. We're staying away from ranked. Ranked, I will tell you this, is not casual. Stay away. It is useless. Okay, but what is Rainbow Six Siege? It's a five on five, you only live once kind of defend and attack kind of situation, right? Everyone has these unique operators that you have to use and, you know, solve different situations with. Maybe um, you want a guy with EMPs because the team has electronics that you want to take out. Maybe you want someone who can sneak around when you're defending so no one can hear you. You know, all of that is taken into account and more in this game. Just, there's a lot more in this game. There's someone with bear traps. There's someone that hacks into your phone and makes it vibrate so your position is given up. It annoys the crap out of me, but it's still a thing. So the first thing that we've got to look at to see if this game is casual is actually the gameplay. The gameplay of this game is very much predicated on how other people are playing. So if the enemy team is playing hardcore, you're going to lose. Simple fact, you're gonna lose. If the other team's playing casual, you have a chance to win. So that's the first big thing, right? And like even a bad team, like it is very hard for a a good casual team to beat a bad hardcore team in this game. Because of the way that it's built. It's built on communication, it's built on strategy and tactics. Right? So right off the bat, this game doesn't seem like it can be very casual. In terms of map knowledge you need to have to actually do well, because we're talking about being doing casual, but actually doing well. You know, you, you know, maybe not doing necessarily well, but doing all right. Maybe positive KD. In terms of map knowledge, holy crap, you need to learn the maps. And you need to learn so many little details about the maps. You need to learn little things like, can I blow up this wall? Can I keep, can I not blow up this wall? To, if I blow up this wall and blow up this wall, I can see all the way into that room. Or I can blow up this floor, go down this way, blow up this floor to flank them. You know, that that's what you got to deal with in Rainbow Six Siege. So, again, not exactly the casual type of game, but people still play it casually. There is one other aspect, though, that um, I think makes or breaks this game and that is the skill curve of this game okay in a game like battlefield one you're not really going to have a skill gap that's very big to climb you know battlefield one was so easy to understand for me it's very easy and after that you know the skill curve of that game kind of went like this okay it was easy or it kind of went like this and then like that so being a pro player was still hard, but being a moderate to good player, not that hard in Battlefield 1. Rainbow Six Siege, the skill curve goes like this. Like all the way up to the ceiling. Straight up. So, like, it can be a casual game if you have shooter experience. If you're not, if you're new to shooters, don't touch this game. If you're new to shooters, you're gonna die. All right, the first time anyone plays this game, they die all the time. And let me tell you this, the community, they're trying to fight toxicity, but the community will hate you if you keep dying and not getting kills or not committing to the team. So stay away from this game if you are a casual gamer. It is not worth it. It is not worth the casual experience. Now, if you have five friends, so you're on a team of five and it doesn't matter if you, if you do good or bad, then it can get really fun. My friends and I like to do this thing we always like to pick all riot shields or pistols only, all five of us, to see if we can win. And it's a lot of fun if you have five friends. But if you don't have five friends, don't 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 play this game casually. Five friends is a maybe. Okay, this game is way way more built for the hardcore audience. The casual audience, beware of this game. It's just too hardcore, too much to take into account. Plus, you there's like always a chance you're gonna die anytime in the game. Like there's so much. You got a sound horror. You got a be aware of sniper positions, aiming, cover, leaning. What kind of gun do I have? What's the recoil? What's the attachments? The ranges are smaller in this game than other games, but the ranges of effectiveness are still there. 
it's very minute, but it's still there. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or stream it post. Whatever I decide to make.